welcome back to day two. If you made it back to day two, that means you didn't hate day one. And you also didn't give up on yourself. So, be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself for making it back to the mat, even if you hate it. This is, I'll say this again, and I won't say it after this. This is not a hardcore, high intensity workout, but you do still get a lot of the same benefits that you would going to a gym or working out in your home. You gain muscle, you lose fat. Um, I've only done yoga my entire journey. That has been my only workout, nothing else. I occasionally ride my bike, that doesn't count. So yeah, I think it's a pretty darn good workout, but you have to go into it with an open mind, realizing it's not a high intensity workout. Will your heart rate go up? Yes. Will you sweat? Sometimes, but the benefits are there. They're happening. So trust the process. Okay, I'll shut up now. Let's start in a, a just a crisscross applesauce seat. Sit up straight. Back should be like you're sitting up against a wall. I mean, even for some, this would be a workout. Just sitting up straight like this. This takes core strength, back strength. It's not easy. And stretch your arms over your head. And let's do a twist to the right. Look over your shoulder. You don't need to crane your neck, just let it happen organically. And breathe. And stretch your arms up. Reach really, really high. And stretch over to, or twist over to the left. Look over your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. These twists will actually help your digestion and metabolism and if you need to go to the bathroom, which I do. Sorry, TMI, but I need help in that department. Okay, and let's just walk it forward until you feel a stretch in your hips and your lower back. Breathe. And walk it back up. Swing your legs to the side. And we're gonna come up to all fours to tabletop position. So your knees should be directly under your hips. Your hands should be directly under your shoulders. And we're going to arch. And Cat pose, breathe, cow pose, we're arching, and last one. Let's go ahead and bump our left hips to the left side of the mat, and then we're going to look over our right shoulder. And bump your hips to the right and look over your left shoulder. You should feel a nice stretch in the side. Perfect. From here, let's bring our right leg up to the sky. Foot is flat. Make sure that your hips are squared off so you're not leaning over. And let's just pulse. While we breathe. And bring it down. Other leg, lift left leg up. Foot is flat to the sky. Square your hips off. 
Tighten that core so your belly button should be in, inward, and pulse while you breathe. And release. From here, bring your right leg out. Doesn't have to be way up high. Bring your left arm out. And we're gonna bring both to the side. And bring it back in. Again. And in. Breathe. Again, and in, and then bring it in, knee to elbow, and out, knee to elbow, and out, knee to elbow, and out. Great job. Lower that leg down, and left side. Right arm comes out and bring them to the side. Again. And last one. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. And knee to elbow. And release. From here, let's slowly make our way up to downward dog. So lift with your hips and then walk it out. This always helps to stretch out your calf muscles, your ankles, and eventually your heels will touch the mat. Maybe they won't, but they'll get closer and that's okay. Now from here, slowly walk, but roll your feet out as you do it. Also a great stretch for the calves. And come into a forward fold at the top of your mat. Let everything just hang. Slight bend in your knees. In yoga, you always want to keep a slight bend in your knees. You never want to straighten your knees. <laughs> If you want to grab your elbows, you can sway. And then hug it in. Slowly roll it up. Arms overhead. And let's have our arms out wide like we're holding a big ball. And we're going to take it over to the right, keeping our chest open, come through center, and over to the left. And from here, dive it down. Halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins, stretch that spine out, crown of the head towards the front of the room tailbone to the back of the room, and release. Let's step it back, right leg, left leg. So now we're in plank position. And again, you can modify by going down to your knees and then to your um, belly and then baby cobra. Or you can try the chaturanga where you're gonna come forward on your tippy toes Keep your elbows close to your side. Untuck your feet. And then you're going to lift. You see how I'm lifted up on the tops of my feet? Into upward facing dog. Chest is open. And I'm breathing. And come back up to downward dog. Walk it out. 
We're going to go ahead and lift our right leg to the sky. While our right leg is in the sky, we're going to slowly pulse it. Just a little pulse. Breathing. And bring that leg in towards your chest and then come in like you're in plank pose. And then you're going to shoot that leg back up into three-legged dog. And then we're going to bring that knee over and touch or come close to touching our right elbow. And then back up to three-legged dog. And then bring it on over to your left elbow up to three-legged dog and let's step it between our hands drop that knee down so now we're in low lunge you can either stay here on your fingertips or come on up arms overhead and let's open it up to the side maybe tip back a little bit Place that hand on the back of your thigh. And place your left hand next to your right foot. And let's open up to a twist. If you want a little more of a challenge, you can lift that back leg while you're in your twist. This is also very good for digestion, constipation, metabolism. And bring it down on other, the other side of your foot. And let's shoot that leg back to plank. We're gonna do another chaturanga or knees, belly, baby cobra. Come forward on your tippy toes. Hug those elbows into your side. Untuck your toes. The upward facing dog. Let's come into a wide-legged child's pose, just to give you guys a little break. And if you want to like wiggle, you can wiggle yourself into the mat. Deep breath in and release. Round yourself forward. Let's close those knees together. Come back on up, downward facing dog. Walk it out for just a moment. So when I'm in downward dog, my elbows, the inside of my elbows are facing outward. I'm really gripping my fingers into the mat to take pressure off of my wrists. And I'm trying to get my chest towards my knees. My feet are about hip width apart. And hips face the sky. Or I should say butt. <laughs> All right, from here, let's lift that left leg to three-legged dog. And it can be like down here. It doesn't have to be up here. And let's pulse while we breathe. Bring it in through the middle, like you're in plank position. Come back up to three-legged dog. Touch knee to elbow on the left side. Three-legged dog. Knee to elbow on the right side. Three-legged dog. Bring it in through the middle and step it through or help your leg along. I had to do that for a very long time. There's no shame in that. Drop that knee to the ground. And you can either stay on your fingertips or maybe interlace your hands on the top of your thighs. 
or come into arms over your head. And then we're gonna open up to the left side, twisting. And let's go ahead and place the right hand next to the left foot and twist. If you want a little more, you can lift that back leg up. Try to look up at the sky. And release. Let's bring that leg back to plank. Let's do another chaturanga or the modified version. To upward dog. Downward dog. From here, step your right foot behind your right hand at a diagonal, a little bit off of your mat, and left foot behind your left hand. We're gonna come into a yogic squat, a low squat. You might be up here, your feet your heels might be off the ground. Whatever's comfortable for you, where you feel like you're not hurting yourself, is best. We wanna be gentle with our bodies. From here, maybe you lift your arms to the sky. And let's come up to standing and maybe we try wrapping our hands to come on top of our feet and then try to straighten your legs out a little bit and look through your legs while you're breathing and release fingertips on the mat heel toe, your feet closer together, roll it up, arms overhead, let's do a small back bend, just small where you open, open up your chest and hands to heart, roll those shoulders a few times, one way and then the other. Fix your clothes, pull your pants up, pick your wedgies, all that good stuff. Okay, from here, we're gonna attempt tree pose. I'm going to face you so you can see me a little better. So, if you're really a beginner, you can stay with your ankle, your heel at your ankle, or maybe you come up a little bit onto your shin and just practice your balance. If you've been doing this for a little bit longer, maybe try to bring that foot on the inside of your thigh. Small bend in your left leg. You really want to spread those toes. Grasp the mat with your toes. And then hands to heart, wherever you are. Just don't put your foot on your kneecap, whatever you do. And then maybe you bring your arms overhead and find a focal point and just see how long you can stand. Balancing. You're using a lot of muscles trying to keep that left leg grounded. You wouldn't even know it, but you are. Really strengthen those core muscles too. That will help you balance. Bring those hands back to your heart. Bring that knee in. I'm gonna turn this way again. So now you're in flamingo. Grab your shin. See if you can bring that leg in close to you. Whoop, I can't do that, but I can do tree pose. Sorry. <laughs> That's why you need to grasp your toes to the mat, because that will help you balance. Bring that knee in as close as you can. 
And from here, let's see if you can shoot that leg out. Hands are at heart. It doesn't have to be high, it can be low. And bring it back in and lower it down, okay? Let's do the other side. So really ground that right foot down, spread those toes out and grasp them to the mat like their fingers. Bring that left leg up wherever you are. Maybe you're here or on the ground. All of them are going to help you with your balance. So it doesn't matter how high your foot is. We're just working on balance. Find your focal point. Tighten those abs. Make sure you're breathing. We're multitasking here. And maybe you bring your arms up overhead. And bring that knee back in, hands to heart. Now we're in flamingo. See if you can tip forward and bring that leg behind you. Come back in. See if you can grab your shin and bring that knee closer to, to your chest. And release. Great job. Arms overhead. Dive down. Halfway lift. Place fingertips on the mat. Bring your right leg back. Now we're in high lunge. You can stay here with your fingertips, chest open, looking out. Or if you want to try and bring arms overhead. And fingertips to the mat. We're going to bend that back leg and step it forward. Halfway lift. Flat back. Fingertips to the mat. Right leg comes back, high lunge. Stay up on your fingertips with an open chest, looking out. You can even come here or try opening up those arms and breathe. And fingertips back down to the mat. Now here, we're going to bring that leg back to a plank, and we're gonna do our last chaturanga. But first, we're gonna do a couple high push-ups. So if you wanna come down to your knees, please do. Come all the way down, and come back up. Down. And up. Last one. And up. Now, last chaturanga or modified version to upward facing dog. Come onto your knees. Swing those legs around gently. And let's bring those legs out in front. Fix your booty. Sit up on those butt cheeks. Um, back is straight, like you're sitting against a wall. Arms overhead. And we're gonna touch our toes, but bend from your hips. So your back is straight and not hunched. Breathe. This is a great stretch to do, like if you run or you work out a lot at the gym. 
I mean, you're basically stretching your entire body in one swoop. You're stretching your legs, you're stretching your arms, you're stretching your back, lower and upper. So you're killing all the birds with one stone. And release. Charlie's Angels, fingers. So all of my fingers are intertwined except my pointers. And we're going to slowly, without lifting our legs, lay back on our mat. Very good. From here, lift both legs up. You can place your hands halfway under your bum. And these are my favorite ab workouts. Where we bring both legs down and suspend. While we breathe, you're gonna get so much further if you breathe. butterfly position. So my feet are touching, my hips are open. If it hurts, bring your legs out further. If your hips are more open, you could bring your feet in a little closer. We're going to lift our upper back off the mat like we have a ball and we're going to pulse kind of like an upward motion instead of down. We're kind of pointing up. Make sure you're breathing. Let's go over to the left. And pulse. shoulder. 
This is great too if you are constipated. If you want to try and stretch that leg out, you can touch it to the ground for an added stretch. And bring it back in through center. From here, lay both legs out flat. Fix your booty, get cozy. We're going to end with corpse pose. Your hands can be on the mat or on your hips or your belly or your heart, wherever you're comfortable. And I want you to shut your mind off. Try to drown the noise that's around you out. I know that's hard to do, but you'll get better at it, trust me. And I want you to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth just for 10 seconds, starting now. Wiggle your fingers and toes, flutter your eyes open. We're going to slowly turn to one side, like fetal position. And if you want to hang out there for a minute, you can. Or slowly make your way up gently to a comfortable seated position, whichever you find most comfortable. Sit up tall, and we're gonna take a big breath in and bring our arms overhead. Hold it at the top. Release. Empty the breath until you can't empty it anymore. And one more time, big breath in, arms overhead. Hold it at the top. Release. Hands to heart, eyes closed. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope I see you back tomorrow. Each practice will get a tiny bit more advanced or faster just so that we can grow, but there will always be modifications. So don't feel like you can't do it because I will always give you modifications no matter what level you're at. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Namaste y'all. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Stay peaceful.